Hey, how's it going guys? John Santos here and welcome to this channel where we help entrepreneurs start and grow their business ASAP with little resources or experience. And now in today's video, I want to talk about how to create a website and more specifically, we compare Bluehost and Shopify. So stick around. For those of you that are just getting started and are just now learning about websites, I have an in-depth review as far as comparing like all the popular ones, whether it's Bluehost, Shopify, Etsy, Big Cartel, Wix, Squarespace, all of the major ones that you might have heard the but like the words around. And I'll link it up here, and the links will also be in the description. So take a look at that video where I kind of cover the broad basis. This video is going to be specifically for Bluehost and Shopify, which I really preach are only are the major two options out there. Anything else is like is like uh, really settling for what it is that you're doing. So if you're into the product space and you want to launch an apparel brand, any any physical product, Bluehost and Shopify will really be the two big players. So I want to start this video off with a quick story. Maybe you're in this situation, and I hope that you don't fall into the situation that I had when I was first looking around for websites. It can be very confusing. So I want to make sure to tell you guys this story so you guys know exactly what happened to me and it doesn't happen to you. Um, the year was like 2000 and fucking 1995 or something. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm not that old. It was like 2012, something like that, when we were first launching our first website. And me not knowing anything about website and like the thought of having to launch my own website was like, holy shit, like well, how do you do that? Like do I need to pay somebody? I was in that situation and, and then I was introduced to a website firm, which will I will not name. Uh, but I was introduced to a website firm and they were like, hey, yeah, we can build your site. You know, like what's your budget? You know, and everybody's always going to say, what's your budget? Well, we're looking for something uh, really custom because we heard that custom was the only way to go. Everybody was like, you got to get a custom site. You know, you got to get a custom site. I uh, went to this website firm and I was like, cool, I'm going to get myself some custom. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then we got there and we were pretty much like, okay, well, yeah, you guys can customize it however you want. And I was like, oh shit, I can customize my own website, you know, like, I've always wanted to do this. So, we ended up like, they were like, yeah, so what do you guys have in mind? And when those questions come out, it's like, like, you have so many options. And now when those questions hit you, you're like, like, oh man, well, I don't know. I don't know what kind of websites I want, you know, like, I don't know what my website needs. So at that point, you're pretty much like, they're kind of telling you what direction you might be able to take. And then they start customizing it to fit your need. And then we end up launching a site and we thought we wanted some like silver. We thought we wanted like, we wanted some like really random shit at the time. And then they end up building us this really random shit. Um, so then we end up having a website. It's up, it's functional and it looks freaking crazy, but it looks so cool to us. You know, like we were literally building a Picasso. We were building the Yeezy season three. And then in reality, it ended up being Yeezy Season 4, which was a complete flop. So that was my situation on building a custom site and going through a custom, uh, somebody that could customize my website. Overall, it was a website that sucked. Um, it didn't convert well. Features, like there was no back-end features, so it was like we couldn't really do anything. We'd have to always call them to make any changes, and then they charge a fee, like an hourly customizable fee. In reality, it wasn't any it wasn't a good experience going to anybody that would build a site and they would have control of like actually managing it. So that's what inspired me to create this video here for you guys and the previous website videos is because I don't want you falling into the same trap. There's all kinds of options that you have, and in this one one that we switched to right after the right after that fiasco was Bluehost. And to be fair, Bluehost isn't a website. It's not a website like an actual website. It's just a hosting platform. And I cover that in more detail in the other video, but a hosting platform is pretty much where you store all your files, you store your your products, like your physical images, like all your information is hosted there. But then Bluehost allows you to easily connect your WordPress website and your two options are really WordPress and Shopify. Um, so a WordPress website is pretty much a fully customizable website tailored to your needs. And WordPress started as a blogging platform, meaning that it's very good when it comes to like uploading content and wanting to like SEO for Google search when it comes to text and all of that stuff. Um, so WordPress is an easy plug into Bluehost, literally allows you to install it with a simple click. To get started with Bluehost, all you do is you go to their website, and I have links down below. You go down to their website, hit a plan, whether it's $4, $6, $15, or like they have all kinds of plans. 
Uh, but if you're just starting out, definitely start with the lowest package. That way you can get your hands on it, really test it, use it. And then once your business increases, like you can move up on the, on the bandwidth and the different options that they have. So Bluehost is definitely the way to go if you're wanting to go on the low. Uh, they have great customer service, the ability to easily install WordPress, and then you can go to ThemeForest. ThemeForest has like thousands of themes. And in ThemeForest, you could choose themes that are already customized to, to apparel or to products that you're, that you're wanting to sell. So in reality, the steps to launching a website on Bluehost is as simple as going down to their website, you paying for the monthly package. I think they even include a free domain name with that package. And then you have your website domain, which whether it's www.mybrand.com or revivebrandco.com, whatever, whatever website you want to launch. And then you go down to like either Theme Forest or you go through like WordPress's uh, content and you can choose themes. Theme Forest actually has like thousands of themes and they have themes ready for you to use on apparel. So you can find some really dope themes on that platform and they'll cost you anywhere between $15, $15 and up. But like literally you install it into your WordPress site and you're ready to go. You're up and running, you're operating a full-fledged website. You connect your store, store stuff, your PayPal information, and you're launched for less than a hundred bucks potentially. So Bluehost allows you to launch on the low, connecting to WordPress, and then overall it gives you full customization options on the back end. So if you really want to learn how to like customize each theme, then you could still go in there and customize it to your needs. Or if you want somebody to customize it in the future, as long as they know WordPress, they'll be able to customize what you need. But to start off, you don't need all that crazy shit that they try to sell you at one of these website firms. You just need something that will look good for you, that can manage your products, manage your orders, and, and, and on the low. So Bluehost is that option if you're on a budget. So now you may be wondering, okay, cool, I've heard of Bluehost, I've heard of WordPress, what about the Shopify? Think about Bluehost and WordPress. If you think that's easy, Shopify is super simple to get set up. Like literally stupid simple. Like they have you log in like a Facebook account to find a theme either on Shopify or on ThemeForest and then you install it onto their website platform and they have a full like they really specialized in their in their inventory management and on the back end features of selling products. So if like Bluehost and WordPress were originally blog platforms and then they adapted to being store platforms, Shopify was created for the store platform. So that's what they do very well. Now the thing about Shopify is though is that you need at least a budget of $300 per year. You can also pay it on like a $29 per month month by month rate. So they make it super affordable to get started on there. So if you have that budget of at least $30 per month and you could sell at least like, you know, five, six products to cover your costs plus have a profit, that's the platform I would recommend you go with. Shopify makes it super simple to sell your products. Like it's real easy to follow up with people, it connects to postage, like you don't have to set up any other plugins. There is apps on Shopify, so Shopify kind of set it up where it's more of like an app platform. So think about your phone and then you could download apps onto your website, which allows you to do different functions, whether it's keep track of inventory in third party locations, uh, install like drop shipping uh, uh, options, like everything is pretty simple through their platform. And they're charging you $29 a month to manage all of that. They even have a mobile processor. So like you can literally sell from your phone. I'll link another video up here that talks a little bit more about that. Um, so overall Shopify is really killing the game. Um, so now when you're comparing these two, either going with Bluehost or going with Shopify, you really have to ask yourself, what's your budget? If you want to, if you don't have a high budget, I recommend you going with Bluehost and learning a little bit about websites. It takes a little bit of tweaking, not difficult at all. And if you've got a small budget and you're willing to take the risk and the and invest at least $29 a month to really push your brand out, then I would go with Shopify. So there you have it guys. I hope this video was helpful. And remember, don't go to like customizing your own website like and paying a firm to create a site because you think you want something. You're never, you never really know exactly what you need until you start using it. So it doesn't make sense to invest a thousand or a couple thousand to build your own custom site to start. I uh, definitely recommend you going with something that's already pre-built, pre-made, making it your own through visuals, the fonts, the aesthetic appeal of it. And uh, always keep in mind that we live in a world where things are quickly evolving and adapting. So if you're spending a lot of money up front and you're just starting your business out, it doesn't make much sense to do that. Um, so make sure that you really research into those two. Bluehost and Shopify are the top providers of web content right now. They're like the top 
tier to the top dogs in this industry. If you have any questions, comment down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll be creating a lot more in-depth reviews. Let's stay connected and let's get going. Talk soon. Bye.